How's it going? So today on Big House Sport, we're going to be talking a little bit about someone, something, the media, and just how much of a lunatic I am going because of this situation. It just doesn't even seem like we can get through a week, or like a month, or like a day, or like an hour without seeing this bloke's name in the media. It doesn't matter that there's a whole rugby league world cup on right now. Oh, no, that doesn't matter. Let's just use this guy's name in the media yet again because we know it's going to sell articles. There's no relevance, there's no proof, there's no nothing, there's no bloody absolutely anything. I know, let's just chuck his name on an article so that we can get a few views. Well, to be honest with you, you know, using Jared Hayne in this video is probably going to be abused, so... <laughs> but at least this video I'm not going to be talking about the negatives of the situation. It's more going to be about how the media is just a f***ing circus. Let's just get in the video. <laughs> I'm talking about on the screen, guys. I'm talking about on the screen. And finally, you look up there and you see the roosters are over the cap. To put it simply for you guys, yes, of course, we're talking about Jared Hayne. I know you would have already seen this in the title of this video, but I just need to talk about what is going on. And not from a media's perspective, because we know on Big House Sport, this is all about the fans' perspective. Every video that we make is all about the fans' perspective. So I'm going to basically say what I feel, and I know a lot of people out there do. I know a lot of people disagree with me. If you disagree with me, that's fine. Go and comment below why you disagree with me. Not one day, not one day, not one week, not one hour, you don't get an article saying, Jared Ain's going back to Parramatta. Jared Ain's signing a contract there. Jared Ain's not fulfilling his contract here. Waiting for the 180 thousand dollars before he makes his move over with any substantial evidence behind any Jared Hayne article. The only things that have come out in response to these are the Titans saying, no, he's still contractually obliged to the Titans in 2018. Jared Hayne comes out and says, no, he's staying with the club. But where is anything? Well, why do people believe the media? I don't understand it. I just, I, I simply don't understand why people believe everything that's in the media. I don't get it. Like, we've clearly seen with, with this sport, let alone other sports like the Premier League, where there's just rumours flying around left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right centre. Ooh, Ooh, Greg Lewis might be going to the Broncos. Ooh, Ash Taylor might be going to the Broncos. Ooh, Mitchell Pearce might be going to the Broncos. No, well, this, but everyone apparently going to the Broncos. We all know how the media puts that. But the point of the matter is that they, they don't go. They don't go. So why when it's random players, is it like, okay, it's just a rumor, that was fine. But when it's Jared Hayne, everything's so apparently official. When, when it's Jared Hayne, everyone just says, oh, Jared Hayne, yeah, there you go. The media is simply here to sell their article so that you read and they know that Jared Hayne going to Parramatta is going to sell articles. It's going to get people reading their stuff. It's going to get subscriptions to their newspaper. Whether one of these articles do happen to become true, the fact of the matter is, is that there's 99 other ones that didn't come true because they were just nonsense to get you to read it. Now the way I'm acting right now, trust me, it's not just towards non-Titan fans. It's not just towards rugby league fans in general. It's also towards a very, very large group of Titans fans and simply believe everything in the media and decide to hate on the bloke at every single given opportunity. Or even if they're not given an opportunity, still time to hate. At least once a day, there's at least a poster of multiple comments saying, Burn him! Burn him! He's ruining a blah Everyone's entitled to an opinion. And yes, some may justify it as they didn't see that he was worth 1.2 million in the time that he's been here so far. Which is something that I kind of agree with. I don't believe that he's performed to the level that he's expected to with that kind of money that he's on. But in the same sense, most of the hate driven towards him is because of how the media portrays him as a person who's not loyal, as a person who doesn't care, as a person who's only in it for himself, as a person who's only in it for the money. Like, you don't know the person. You've never met him in your life. And if you have met him, if you've had a bad experience with him, that doesn't mean that necessarily that's him as a total person. That could just mean that, yeah, he may have just gotten a little bit tired of signing autographs. Yes, I know that's his job. I understand that. But in the same sense, every job you do, by the end of the day, you get tired. You just like, this. it gets repetitive. And yes, I understand, it is just a piece of paper. Oh yeah, please sign this. Or yes, it is jersey, just sign this. But I'm there at every single Titans game. I'm there at every single Titans game. And I see thousands of people and kids and families lining up to get pictures and autographs and all that. It's just not possible. So a lot of people have this bad opinion of him as well because he just can't simply sign and take photos with every, everyone in the stadium. They do need to go to the back sheds, have a rundown, cool down, have a drink, you know? Like they just finished a game. 
but some people have a bad opinion of him because they don't get what they want. Also, finally, I just want to say two things to end this video. One, we all know there is a specific little pack, a couple of little journalists who decide to really hate on specific teams and hate on specific players. Yes, Paul Kent. Yes, Buzz Rothfield. I'm looking directly at you. We all know that these guys are like this. So why believe them in absolutely everything they do? Actually, most of the time, they get proven wrong more than they get proven right. Yes, they may be knowledgeable of the game, but in the same sense, they, they don't know everything, guys. So stop believing everything you read. And lastly, this is for Gold Coast Titans fans specifically. Look at Fiji and how they're performing in this World Cup. Every single person in Fiji, and I know, because I'm in Fiji right now, everyone in Fiji is getting behind and really supporting the team. They're not focusing on one player. They're not focusing on anything besides the fact that they are one team. They are supporting their country. They're supporting their team. Gold Coast is a country. Not the point. The point matter is, is that they're getting behind every single player. Doesn't matter who they are, what background they come from, or what the media portrays about them. And look how much they're paying dividends for the team itself. They're in the semi-finals. They just beat New Zealand. It's just unreal what happens when, you know, the club actually gets behind the team and the decisions that are made by the team. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did like it, please give a big thumbs up so know that you're enjoying this content. If you're a big rugby league fan, then you need to go and click the subscribe button below and the little ding-a-ling-a-ling -ling bell so that you get a notification every time Bakehouse will upload a video. Because we're about to go absolutely ham with videos, so you need to go and chuck that notification bell on so that every time we post that, uh, bam, 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 then you get it in your subscription feed. Finally, please share this video to everyone that you know and your NRL groups that you're in because honestly, it's just for getting beyond a joke. If you agree or disagree with my opinion, then I would love for you to comment below so that I can see what you guys will think. I know you guys are the Titans fans on this channel, and you know, I'm just interested to see what other people's opinions are after I've said what I've said. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you later. See